So hang up your stockings, put the tinsel on the tree, because Christmas is coming, my dear. What's happening, free gang? We are coming to you live. But not live. Live. From the Christmas room, the Christmas feast room, as you see we have a feast before us here. Yesterday we're going to be doing a Christmas mukbang Q&A at the beginning of Vlogmas. We put the call out there, you gave us loads and loads of Christmassy questions which we are going to be answering today. And we're going to be chugging some of this, we're going to be eating lots of snacks. Snacks, indeed. So I've got to go and prep some more food, we've already done a few bits but I've got to go and prep some more. And while I'm doing that, guys, go now and get yourself something to eat. Nice cup of tea, maybe. Coffee, whatever you want. Maybe pause the video, get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink, and come join us. We're going to have a nice, cosy Christmas chat. Yeah, get yourself a nice hot chocolate, snuggle up. Oh, that's a good idea. Like if you've just come in from the cold and you want to watch this video, just snuggle up. Have oh, a hot blanket, nice, yeah. hot oh, chocolate. I almost want to go away and watch this like that. <laughs> I need to be in it, do not I? <laughs> Jojo, do you want to help me with the uh, prep? Yeah, this? sure. Right, I need you to... You haven't got your magic wand on you, have you? Just snap no. your fingers. Oh, oh well look, done. Good clicking. This looks so good. Looks like an absolute feast. Let us know in the comments, guys, where you guys are coming alive but not live from and what potential snack, drink, or coziness you've got going on right now. Let yeah. us know, we'd love to know. Okay, so this actually isn't all of the stuff. Well, it's all Christmassy stuff. This is all Christmassy, like party food. We got like a vegan version of pigs in blankets, stuffing, turkey flavored crisps, mm -hmm. mince pies, vegan sausage rolls, some party crisp snack food. We got oh, this oh. camembert, vegan camembert cheese. And we've also got some fizzy, sparkly kind of Grape juice drink, like Schler, is it? Oh, that's a different one, yes. That's, yes, this is yeah. Schler. Should we pour ourselves a glass? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> you like that, did you? You know when you're trying to act sophisticated and you just sound like an idiot? Yeah. Is, is that what just happened, is it? Yeah? Okay. How about we get into your questions? We've got some lovely questions from you guys. And do you know what? I was hoping that you guys would all stick to Christmassy themed ones, and you have. Who's invading? <laughs> what are you doing? You can have some... He's coming to take a spoon. How oh, dare you? Oh, Sam. Okay, first question. Will you be doing any van trips during Vlogmas? Nope, we are home in London for... Oh. No, we're, what? Oh, we're, oh. We're doing a trip, but not a van trip. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. But we're home otherwise for the whole of Vlogmas. Do you like pantomimes? Yeah, they're all right. I like pantomime. Oh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Yeah. Ah! I thought that hit my ear then. I thought when, when you screamed, I thought you'd lost control. That happened years ago. Yeah, I think pantomimes can be quite good. It depends on, they can vary, can't they? Of, uh, yeah. Like good ones, and it depends on the story in there. Oh, I've seen you. so many pantomimes in my life. We used to have a holiday home on a haven site. And they always and did them. They always did them in the summer. And it was lovely. Careful, oh, yeah, Jojo. Samosa landed on the little napkin. How about this one, Mummy? You can ask this. How did we both meet? Hang on. Can I get the bat first? There's your bat. Yeah, because I just wanted to explain what we're doing. This is one of Bob's favourite meals, is when you get, it's not a bat, it's a muffin. You get a muffin or some kind of roll, some kind of bready thing, and you put stuffing in there. And yeah, you do it for me. Gravy, you make the gravy really thick and you put that in there and what other things? Sometimes a bit of potato. Sausage, but yeah. I, know, it's, I know what's gonna happen today. So yeah, so I'm gonna make this. Let me move this out the way. This candle is actually not a real candle. Well, I'm doing one for Jojo now, and as it's my thing, I'm gonna talk you through it. So I'm gonna get two no pigs in blankets. So two blankets and lay them down. I'm um, putting gravy in mine first. I'm putting sausage in there, and then we're gonna get some stuffing, spread that out in there. And cover the whole thing in gravy. Ah, yeah. Too much gravy. Way too That's much gravy. That's why I've got a spoon. That's why I've got a spoon for you. Anyway, right, okay, while I'm doing this, I'm going to answer that question. So how did we meet? Bob is my sister's husband's best friend. Ex-husband. Ex-husband, yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, there's a lot more to it than that, but I actually didn't... That's how we got to know each other. I didn't like Bob at first. 
I'm still questioning if she does like me now, to be honest. I didn't like him. I thought, he, he j you just picked me on the wrong day. You just really annoyed me that well, day. Well, at least I picked you on the right day when we actually tried to get together. Yeah, but once I fell in love with Bob, I would... Oh, man. I was so in love. I was like, you know when the only time, the only private time you ever get is on the toilet? Where's this going? <laughs> no, I just remember, the, like, I just remember sitting on the toilet and just going, I love him so much. I, I, the reason it was on the toilet is because the only private moment I got. Yeah. And I was just like, I was just absolutely besotted with it. I mean, I still am, really. Oh, okay, it is very mutual. Here's a good one for all of us. What is Jojo? Well, what is all of our favourite Christmas memories? My favourite one is when I got all of the three big Lego sets: the Minecraft one, the Harry Potter one, and the roller coaster. Yeah, 2018. I think that was a really nice Christmas video we did for that as well. What about you? Favourite Christmas memory? Sorry, just argue when you ain't. I'll go. I think it has to be the first time when we had a Christmas together as a family before Jojo was here, but. I think it was a contrast because Sam and Jamie, we didn't have much here, did we? And I wasn't even living here at the time. And Sam and Jamie, we basically cut off the front room for like two months while we did it up. Because all there was in here was a sofa and a table. Yeah. And we're actually going to be sharing this first ever Christmas together very soon. So make sure you've hit the bell so you're kept up to date and you'll see exactly what the first Christmas was like. But that was so special because I felt that... That's when I got my love of Christmas back. I used to hate Christmas. Yeah. I, I fell out of love with it. Yeah. I think that was my favourite as well because the year before that we were homeless. That was our first Christmas all together when we had a home and everything was happy. And I somehow convinced the children that there was nothing going on in the living room. It was just I was getting a new fireplace or something. Do you remember? <laughs> I didn't lie to them, but I just somehow convinced them there was a fireplace going in. Yeah, you alluded to it. What will you be having for Christmas dinner? Oh, a big roast, no doubt. Mm. Lots of stuff, all the trimmings. Don't know if we'll have a kind of slight centerpiece thing. We sometimes make our own. You make a mushroom Wellington, don't you? I really love nice. this mushroom and chestnut Wellington with cheese that I make and I wrap it in pastry and it's so good. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but that's like my favorite thing, I think. What is your favorite type of advent calendar? I reckon it would be Either like a Lego one or one of like a, a Nomo ones. I really like Nomo. The chocolate one? Yeah. What about a giant one that's maybe put on the wall? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I thought do. like, mate, uh, in general, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Mummy? Do you have a favourite type? Mmm. I let you have my chocolate today, didn't I? You did? Mmm. That was very kind of you. Your husband's one. That's what your favourite one is. I don't one. know. As long as the kids are happy, I'm happy. Everyone else is mm. happy. Do you have any special traditions? I mean, our family has. I mean, I don't know if other families don't have this, but we've always done a treasure hunt before revealing the presents on Christmas Day. We started it that first year with Sam and Jamie, and it's just carried on ever since, and we always film even before we were doing YouTube. And I don't know when it came in, but I wrote a poem for the family, and I will share it with them before the treasure hunt. You I feel like came in maybe a couple of years after Jojo was born. You've always written poems um, yeah. for everybody, but I don't know. Wrote one for Mia's birthday, didn't I? You did, and you wrote, wrote one for Darren's birthday, birthday one year. Two years back. And you wrote them a fat when they came back from Dubai. You wrote a family poem for them. Yeah. But you've written poems for ev like so many people, and they're just always amazing. Yeah, I'm always overwhelmed when you do poems for people. Like, yeah. Very mm. powerful. Thank you. Do you struggle to find presents for Jojo that aren't all Lego? <laughs> uh, no, we find lots, of, he likes lots of different stuff in like, if you think about the different things he's been into, mm. there's times when he was liking um, magic eye stuff mm. and illusions, and now he's like into flag and geography and sports and different things. So yeah, I, he's quite easy to buy for. Yeah, Jojo has a huge um, piece of food on the side of his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard to buy napkins for him. <laughs> you have a napkin. We all have napkins there. Do you want to make your bun? Do you want to make your... Yeah, I will in a moment. Yeah. This is really good. Do you visit any other family members or friends around Christmas, like Boxing Day or Christmas Eve or something? Mm. Yeah, we do, we do tend to, don't we? Yeah, I'm trying to say to people, like, I'd rather visit family after Christmas because mm. I just feel like it's I'm, I'm just calmer then. Yeah, especially at the moment doing Vlogmas. We're just really enjoying concentrating on this and doing videos for you guys. And mm. Christmas is always crazy for us. We're always busy with getting everything ready for the day. Mm. Will you be doing another off-grid van trip this winter? So, yeah, like we said earlier, not 
before the end of the year. Maybe in January, we might be doing some. I'm not too sure, but watch this space. What is your favorite part about Christmas? And is it your favorite holiday? Jojo? Ooh, I think it's definitely my favorite holiday. Yeah, what's your favorite part about it? Favorite part? I think it might, I think I, I, everything, just all of it. Just the whole thing, yeah? Yeah, I love all of it, yeah. I just love seeing kids happy. Like for me, that's, it's mm. just, I, I love, well, I just love seeing people happy. I've just, I've put crisps in there, look. Whoa! Good Whoa! Stuff. No! Okay. Whoa! I'm gonna put a bit of gravy in the middle as well. This is gonna be like a triple layer gravy sandwich. My favourite one, I think, is just having all the kids together, having being able to see mm. them all together and, yeah, seeing them happy. For someone who didn't like Christmas, I just, everything is about just making it special for the kids. Will we be doing vegan Christmas recipe videos? Um... Probably not dedicated videos, but we'll probably chip in some things here and there, maybe. Mm. Like if we're doing a vlog and we're making food, we might share what we're making like we sometimes do. I always sneak some secret like tips yeah. of the days and recipes and things like that in just general vlogs. So maybe so. stuff like that. What is your greatest ever pre present that you've gotten? I'm going first. My family. They didn't come at Christmas. But 100% kids is my greatest present. Jojo, your one's going to be really interesting, I'm sure. I'm not too sure. I just like all presents, really. Not one that stands out? One Christmas? No. Okay. Katie, what's your greatest ever present? Sorry, I've got the world's most itchy nose right now. Your itchy nose is your greatest ever present, okay. Oh, when you bought me my black dressing gown. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Sorry. I don't even know if that was for Christmas, but I remember I screamed. It wasn't for Christmas. I it... said I've always wanted a black dressing gown with a hood, and he somehow found one. Favourite Christmas films, go! Elf is really, is really good. Home Alone for me. Oh, Home Alone. And the one that stood out for me, Christmas Chronicles, the first one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was, I really enjoyed that. It we wasn't were, like... Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. We were in LA at the time mm. when we first watched that, and yeah, it was lovely. Really enjoyed that movie. Oh, there's so many good ones though. Mm. Favourite food at Christmas time? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be something like that, yeah. I mean, I love a roast dinner and the Christmas dinner is like the epitome of roast dinners, isn't it? Yeah, I just, I love getting, like I said earlier, like a roll or a bat or a muffin and just putting stuffing in there and potatoes. Stuffing and in the muffin. Thick gravy in there. I like cheese and crackers as well. What are your plans between Christmas and New Year? I guess that's when we'll see family, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and, and any other friends and that. Let us know if you've got any different plans between Christmas and New Year. Jojo's going to be playing with all his new toys, aren't you? Are you planning on doing any form of charity work over the holidays? Yeah, we've got some stuff going on which we're hopefully going to be sharing on the channel with you guys as well. But um, some, yeah, really inspiring and exciting projects. I mean, we always do a lot of charity work as well that we don't share with you guys, but yeah, we'd love, we'd love to share what we're doing over Christmas with you. This question, it's really, it might cause a bit of divide mm -hmm. in the family, oh, maybe right. even in the free gang, so I'd like you guys to answer this too. If you had to pick one, would you rather, rather be an elf or a reindeer? I think an elf would be cool, but a reindeer would be better. So you reckon a reindeer? Yeah. I'm team reindeer. What about you? I mean, come on, you can fly if you're a reindeer. I know, cool, right? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, can they all fly? Isn't it just eight of them that select? Unless bunch? if you're one of Santa's helpers, elf, of elves, and then you can fly on the sleigh with him. Mm. Yeah. Then I'd rather be an elf. What made you want to do Vlogmas this year? I just thought, why not? Like, it's something we've never done and we like trying new things. And it's fun and it's doing fun. regular content at Christmas. Celebrating it and sharing fun mm. things. Mummy, this one might be specifically for you. Because mm. I think you'll be good at this. It's the best way to save money, yet buy good quality presents for Christmas. Yeah, you can do a few things. You can find out the things you want to buy and go on eBay and you can normally get second hand, like we've bought whole Lego sets that have been second hand, but yet they've still been in the box. Things like that, haven't we? Mm. Really nice outfits things like that um also you can do christmas shopping in january in the january sales for the next year 
you know, if you want you've to. You've got to be proper prepared for that, haven't you? <laughs> if you've got storage space, like if you've got a loft or a or space to store things, like a room that you don't normally use, then that's a really good way to save money. Also, you can shop on Black Friday as well. We got some nice bargains on Black Friday. But just be aware of sometimes the offers aren't as good as what you would think. Sometimes they'll put the price up and then just, just to make it yeah. look like it's on offer and things like that. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, but I find eBay is really, really good. Especially if you want things that look new that are second hand and, and very cheap. What's your favourite thing to do at Christmas? My favourite thing to do? Mm. Um, play in the snow. Yeah, well... If it snows. Yeah, you don't always get that at Christmas. Come on the snow. But this is specific to me and you. I do like sneakily getting it prepared, knowing that the kids aren't going to have any idea what it's going to be like. What, the you know what I mean? and everything. Yeah, yeah and the surprises and everything. What are your favourite Christmas songs? I don't really... I'm not really... Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle I think bell now. something. Are you shaking jingle your head, bell. Bell. Yeah, I'm just like, that's not my favourite Christmas oh, right. song. Right, it's, it's an alright it. one. What's your favourite then? Have you got one? There's one. I know it is, yeah. Yeah, by George, George Michael. Michael. Not not the Wham one. It's Calm not down. Last Christmas, it's called something else. I think it's called I Dream of Christmas. That's right, yeah. Mm, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I like that one. Have you got a favourite, Jodo? Um, I'm not really one for Christmas songs, so I don't think I have a favourite. So. I mean, you just get bombarded with them in the shops, don't you? She just dipped a crisp in gravy. You're a legend, I've got to try that. I've got to try it too. You were onto something there, you knew, didn't oh, you? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. These are turkey flavoured crisps, but they are vegan. Someone asked this, although it might have been before the video was published. What will you get Sienna for Christmas? Watch the video up in the corner then you'll see what he got. Jojo, what do you want for Christmas? I want a Lego set of Lego stuff. Lego, Lego, Lego. <laughs> um, oh, I do want a few Minecraft Lego sets. Just, we... just a few hundred, that's all. Anything else outside of Lego? Or maybe just some nice new swaggy clothes. Swaggy, okay. Can you put that down, swaggy? <laughs> She's really put off by that. Do you prefer Christmas or New Year? Both. Christmas. Christmas, yeah. We're not really fussed by New Year, are I we? like to celebrate the New Year in March. The equinox. Yeah, because like... that's when it that's when the New Year should be. Like that's when it's night the, the it? change in the season and new life is coming and, and... start of spring. Yeah, I feel spring. like that feels like New Year for me. But I know there's probably loads of people who might disagree. What's better, candy canes or gingerbread men? I would always go for gingerbread. Yeah, I can't eat candy canes. They're so the, sweet. Yeah. I mean, They're good for tree decorations. We've got loads on the tree. <laughs> Kids come around and see them and they just go, can I take one and eat one, don't mm. they? I mean, that's fine. Can I open this cheese? Oh, you've gone for it already. Yeah, go for it. Everyone's stealing my idea of dipping the crisps in the gravy. Well, you've inspired a yeah, friend. It's an inspiration, mummy. We might have to stop what you're doing eating. Who is more annoying around Christmas? Mummy. Really? Okay. Tell me your reasons. Hang on, why me? Why me? <laughs> You've caused an argument free gang, well done. You're not the one normally giving out the presents, you're normally the one behind the crack camera, you don't get involved. Are you saying she doesn't get involved? Why is she more annoying? Come on. Because she doesn't get involved. Hang on. Are you winding me? You're winding me up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I could choose who's more annoying at Christmas. It's been one day of the year, but I have to think that everyone's just super pleasant. I mean, all of us are nice and pleasant anyway, but... Everyone's at their best, happiest. Mm. What was your worst Christmas ever? That That is a very good question and a, with a very interesting answer. I don't know whether to share the story. I don't know whether to share because it's, it's quite an actual like sad story to be honest. It has been since we've had, since we've been together. Yeah. Can you pass over the slur? Yeah and it's been, yeah si since we had Jojo as well. Um, I don't know where to share it. It's a very, it's quite a sad Christmas story. But let me know, guys, if you're interested in this really sad Christmas story. No, because I just don't want to blurt it out and then it's put. I know it, what you mean, but it makes people feel sad because this is a happy video. Yes. You know, I want to make people feel happy. But we will share it if you want to hear it. Let me know if you want to hear it. Which crackers should I go for? Rosemary and sea salt or caramelized onion? Oh, what a Ooh. choice, caramelized onion. Okay. How do you feel about Santa and selling Jojo? I don't know how to answer this because if there's people watching who our answer could affect. Yeah. I'm trying to be careful how to explain this. 
We have gone on quite an unusual journey actually with the truth about Santa. That's another thing, if you guys want to hear that story, we will share it. Yeah. Because I know people, you know, they want to believe what they want to believe and everything. And that's fine, you know, everyone's entitled to what they want to believe. But we have gone on a real absolute roller coaster journey with the truth about Santa. Let's just call it the truth about Santa. But I feel like, yeah, if it, I will talk about that in a video if you guys are interested. I just don't want to tell the story now in case someone isn't prepared to hear the story. Yeah, true. Do you want cheese and crackers? Do you want cheese in your bath? In your... Not that cheese, no. Really? No, no, no. That's good cheese. Nah, come on. I mean, I've never... You've I'm... made these mistakes before getting too excited about food. It looks like camembert though, look. Do I need to tell them about the chocolate and Yorkshire pudding? I just have really, haven't I? Don't tell them about the chocolate and Yorkshire pudding. I know you recycle Christmas wrapping. Will you have to buy some this year? Uh, yes, we do have a lot of reusable stuff, but, I th uh, but we've had to get some this year because we probably don't have enough. Because not all paper can be recycled. Well, the wrapping paper mostly has got plastic in it, isn't it? Yeah, Something some like some has got plastic in it. Um, so we're trying to get the recyclable one, but we have so many boxes like reusable that we've had for years. Because we actually did and a... And bags, haven't we? Reusable bags. We did a zero waste Christmas because we've always loved doing Christmas big. And we were trying to figure out how can we still do it big and do it zero waste and we just found a way and if yeah i will put that video up in the corner if you want to see how we did that yeah we'll go down on history for that mm. i don't think i've never seen anyone do christmas that big and do it zero waste we got very creative didn't we but everyone was still very very happy and that's the main thing the same person has actually said all the family getting together this year like jamie and astrid and sam so sam yeah he'll be here Emily will be going to stay with her family over Christmas. Jamie's saying about maybe coming here with uh, Aiden and Astrid. It's not 100% confirmed, but it looks like they'll be coming here for dinner. She has said it before, but then not come, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out Christmas morning, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, if, if she didn't come that day, we'd probably see her the next day, and we'd see Emily when she came back as well. What are you looking forward to most about Christmas, Jojo, this year? Ooh, wow. Um the excitement of it i'm just looking forward to the excitement of it have you got the christmas feeling yet look I at this room it's slowly building in like because you kind of you kind of put me off the christmas <laughs> feeling of it by bringing it in too early because what you did is you put the tree up you put all the lights up you put the advent calendar up then i was like but it's not christmas yet you have to wait all that time. You put the tree up in November, for goodness sake. Should we next year just do all of that stuff on Christmas Eve? And then you're like, bang, Christmas is in, then it's here. No, not on Christmas Eve. Maybe it like a few days before. Okay. So October the 12th. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put some stuffing on top of the cheese and cracker. Oh my goodness. This is going to turn into something crazy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, put crisp on top. And the crisp on top. A little mixed pie on top and then some corn on the corn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get an orange on there. Pour some schlaer over it. Yeah, put this via life card for the cheese on top. Ah, oh, it's festive recipes inside the cheese. Yeah, there you go. You wanted to know about recipes. We just hold up this booklet and open it. Oh, wow. There's loads of, re yeah, look at that. Yeah, if you want a really cool little recipe book, buy this cheese. Buy via life. Ca cheese. Camembert. Camembert. Le, 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 how do you say? Le Ronde. Le Ronde. Camembert flavour. Trying to cultivate a French accent there, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you went to Paris with your sister? No. And you didn't want butter in the roll? No. And your sister just kept saying, no but, no but, no but. My sister is a but. She, she doesn't speak French, by the way, if you're wondering. Oh my goodness, I am enjoying this so much. Mm. But that is the end of all of the questions, guys. Thank you so much for yeah. asking all of them. I love that we've got really Christmassy themed ones. We've never answered questions about Christmas before. No. So nice, so, so, so thank you so much. Maybe we'll do another Christmas Q&A next year as well. But that is where we are ending today's video, guys. I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Leave your comments below letting us know what's going on in your life at the moment. We always love hearing from you. And we will see you all in the next video, guys. Just remember, no matter where you are, you guys always stay free. And, and just, just keep rising. rising. Merry Christmas. Yay.